This tutorial is going to explain how we can format data accordingly so that it's a bit easier to read. Now, one of the biggest things you can do in Excel is obviously to make sure you have appropriate spaces between portions of your data. So you can see here lots of spaces around things and it's easy and clear to see where things are. Now, we can use different fonts. Obviously bold, underlined and italic are always really important. But some of the more easy things that we can do, as you've seen, is that we can highlight certain parts and we can use the fill tool so we can add in bits of colour so that people know the main parts that you're looking at. Again, we can make certain things bold. We could highlight things different colours, so this could be yellow, this could be iron, this could be the average, so again we can see distinct differences, bonuses awarded as well, I think this needs to have a different colour. So we've got clear indication about the different parts of this. We can go a little bit further, we can start to add in more defined lines around our data. Now we can go ahead and select parts that we want to. Up here is a lines or the borders which you can apply to different parts. There's all sorts of different borders but I always like to use all borders. Again, all borders. And there's a single line here so let's go ahead and do a thick outside border. And the grand total again, a thick outside border. So quite quickly you can define key parts of your data just by extenuating using colours and using the borders tool. Again, let's go ahead and let's highlight this. Make the text bold. And I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to make the text bold here. Borderline. And one of the things that is really useful is to align text to different portions. So you can see here it's on the right hand side of this cell. Now you can align your cells to make it easier for people to view your data. The best way we can do this is let's go ahead and align all of this data to the center of the cells. So up here in the toolbox we could align it to the left, to the right, or in the middle. Again it keeps it nice and clear clarified. I'm going to repeat the same again for here and I'm going to repeat the same again for here. Oh, missed that one. And we can see it's far easier to read. Now one of the biggest things that we haven't got on this spreadsheet, these are all in pounds so we need currency signs. Now rather than typing in manually using a currency sign, so currency 500, there is an easy way to add currency to everything. So if I go ahead and select the cells which are currencies, up here in this box here, these are different types of data in your cells. So we've got general, we've got just numbers, and we've got currency. So we can select currency and it will add in all the pound signs for you. You don't have to worry about anything else that will add in the pound signs for you, saving you a lot of time. In currency. Let's go ahead make that nice and clear. Pound signs. Oh, bonus award, let's forget that one. Currency. Perfect. Bonus as well, currency. And there we have a nice, neat, laid out chart. You can easily see parts of the data. And we've highlighted key elements, which are really important when you're asked to do specific things. If it's asking you to present, for instance, total earnings for a particular quarter, highlight it with a key color. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.